Now we're going to talk about how to do a one-handed tie. We've been doing a two-handed tie. Remember the key hand positions. Pistol, perfect sign. You're still going to be using these key hand positions, but there are other key maneuvers with your hands you're going to have to use in order to successfully do a one-handed tie. One of those is from the pistol, you're going to have to go slide your thumb just along your first digit and then push out. So it's this maneuver. Slide down, push out. The other one is you're going to have to do a pincer with your second digit and your third digit. And finally, you're going to have to do a pincer with your third digit and your fourth digit. Additionally, you're going to really have to concentrate on pronating and supinating because pronation and supination help you to move that strand through. And I'll show you right now. So again, we're using the big strand with the two colors. I'm just going to hook one of these because it's going to be without tension. You set up just like you would for a two-handed tie. So we have to cross. You have the hand that's doing most of the work. In this case, it's going to be my right hand. That cross, cross it, that strand is distal to you. Cross is distal. And you set up just like you would with the two-handed tie. So you do your pistol, you hook your barrels. You hold with the third through fifth digits, you're holding the strand. And you set up the first throw just like you would. You bring your dominant hand up, the purple strand up in this case, and then you hold, you make your cross. So you've got your cross here. Now, normally, boom, 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 but we're not doing it two-handed, we're doing it one-handed. So, how do we do this? You slide that thumb down between the strand and the first digit and you push out. By pushing out, you create a little area for your, when you flex your distal second digit to hook between the thumb and where the white strand is crossing. You hook there and then you pinch it. You, you flex your thumb out and then you pinch with your second digit and your third digit. Now, how are you gonna get this through? That's where pronation comes in. You pronate and as you pronate, you go through the loop. Boom, you've brought it through. Now, the, this is kind of tricky, but what you wanna do then is you wanna flex your second and slide it out so that you bring it back out and you rub, you bring it out through. So it's flexing, slide it out, and then you're still, you get the pinch. Now you bring it out and then you're gonna lay it flat. You've laid it flat. Now, what do we do next? So then I do a perfect sign, I'm pinching like this, and then what I need to do is I need to supinate. As I supinate, just like we used to with the two-handed tie, hook with our thumb, we're gonna hook instead with our third and fourth digits. So I supinate, and I hook with my third and fourth digits. Now you make the cross like this. Now how are you gonna get that? What you do is you flex your, your third digit, you put it through that space there so it's on the other side of the strand, and then you pinch. Bring it back down and pinch with your fourth digit. So you're like this, supinate, flex. You catch that loop between your the perfect sign and the white slant, the white strand, just like you did before, and then you pinch it back in. So now I've pinched it, you can let go now with this perfect sign. And then how do you get this back out? You pronate, pronate out, and it brings it right out. And then you hook it back out like this. Now, we want to lie it flat, right? We want it square. So you have to cross your hand, square knot, boom. Now, back to what we're doing. Pistol grip, cross, thumb slide down, push out, hook with your forefinger, pinch, pronate out, squish it, put it through, and slip that by, bring down flat, pinch, gonna supinate, cross, hook with that third digit, pinch with the fourth, you're gonna pronate down, bring it through. So I'm gonna just do a few of these without talking about the exact maneuvers, and we're going down, and you can see that we're lying flat,
And again, if you look at when I'm done, you've got nice square knots and a nice pattern. Okay, now we're going to do a one-handed tie with a silk thread. Again, we'll review what we just talked about. The key hand maneuvers again. You want your pistol grip, perfect sign. And then for the one-handed tie, you want to be able to slide your thumb down against your second digit and push out. You want to do pincer movement with the second and third digit and the third and fourth digit and then you need to pronate and supinate. Okay, so we'll go ahead and practice this with the silk tie. So here we have our silk, we're gonna set it up. Again, I'm just putting on one strand because this is supposed to be without tension. Remember, we want to cross over just like we do with the two-handed tie. The hand that's doing all the work, in this case my right hand, my right hand, it, the, that strand is going to be distal. It's going to be crossing distal. Okay. So now we're going to start. So the first thing you do is you get, just like a two-handed tie, slide down and then push out the strand. Now there's a space between my thumb and the cross and that's where I bring my forefinger and I hook that pinch and I did that all at once, but I pinched and then I pronated, bring it through. Now we want it to lie flat, so I'm gonna guide it down with my forefinger and it lies flat. Now, I'm in my perfect sign here and now I'm going to supinate. As I supinate, I'm going to hook with my fourth digit and my third digit and then I'll make the cross. So you see the cross there between the, be, where my two digits are in there and I've got the cross. Now I have a space between where my perfect sign is and where the cross is. I take my second digit, I flex it in between that space and then I extend it and pinch it onto my third digit. Now I pronate again and that slips it right out and now I have to cross to make it lie flat. Come back up again, pistol, cross, slide your thumb down, push it out, hook with your forefinger, pinch with the other one, slide it out, and then you lay it down flat. Supinate, make the cross, flex the second, then extend it while pinching with the third, and then pronate out. And then you have to cross your hands to make it lie flat. So I'm gonna do several of these just slowly. And you can see. That I'm building nice square knots as I go and every time I cross it sets me up for the next one. Sets me up for the next one. And there you have it. Two-handed, no tension, silk.